All right, welcome back. We're going to be working on the dirty old tow truck today. It's in need of some maintenance. While you guys weren't looking off camera, I got started and uh, this motor's been rebuilt. So I had to scrape all the paint off of the crank pulley. So I was able to find the uh, top dead center mark. And then I took a white paint marker and marked it. I guess I'm going to get gloved up. Jump right into this video. What is the truck doing? Um, I think I heard maybe a slight ticking in the engine. And it's a little concerning, so figured it was time to do a valve job and uh, use this sensors right here, portless. Like, why not jump right into it and get it done? So start off by loosening a bunch of nuts and bolts and gaskets and everything else you know remove this wire clip i guess we just sit that let it dangle there uh get some space on this guy what size is this looks like a 10 it is i hope just gonna hit it and switch over to 10 mil yep crack it loose that's all right loose that's concerning Hmm. Should have really thought about somewhere to put all of these nuts and bolts. Cummins filter name up. Well, it's really hard. It's dark now. I had to go down to the local dealership and get um, a couple of these bolt slash gaskets. Take it real good in my rear, if you know what I mean. But uh, I'm gonna sit this down to the side until later, and uh, we gonna get back up top and get to work. Right now, I'm just poking at the valve cover, trying to get it to come loose. Attach itself from the gasket. Nobody talks about this. This is a video in itself because nobody talks about 
the little um, O-rings that go here. So I got replacements, the new bolt and uh, bushing or O-ring seal, if you will, this rubber guy here. And um, in the packaging with the valve cover gasket came six O-rings and this is what I got out of my truck. There are no O-rings there. We got another angle here you can that's bad so we don't get that taken care of here Alright, we are back again, and we are done with the intake, so we are going to bump up to exhaust notes here. So this portion of the job I'm done with, I am going to move the camera now to a different position and uh, I'm going to go ahead and rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees and continue. Now the camera will just focus, if you see that, that line right there in the center of the screen, that's top dead center. Uh, before I start making the video, I actually have to scrape off 
all of the paint around the pulley to find top dead center and I guess I'm gonna just repaint it red or maybe I should paint it caterpillar yellow <laughs> I don't know yet um but now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this 360 degrees so I'm gonna rotate that all the way around and uh, we're gonna take you with us Yeah, the compression in the engine makes it harder to spin this. It wants to keep going back to the place where it was. And you can see that line coming back up. Maybe right about there is where we want it. Top dead center. So this is the second rotation. Now we're going to do the second set of valves. All right, I had to get y'all back repositioned. So we are gonna get started with two, four, and six, the exhaust files, and then I'm gonna go and switch over to the intakes. I got the 14, we gonna hold that into place. And just tighten the nut spin it down and just tighten it and then we want to double check and make sure uh, I don't like that so when I mean, you don't like it loosen it got yeah, some kind of alarm going off in the background excuse my audio So I tightened up those other cylinders, those other valves. We're going to rotate the engine a couple of times. Uh, I can't really get that on film, so let me just get to work. with our new gasket. So we are back. Got all of the uh, power lines for the injectors connected. We're gonna get it going with this guy here. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I don't want to go too tight. It's good and tight. It's good. So these are the new bolts. I got them from Cummins. Notice that little O-ring that goes around the bottom of that bolt. I think a lot of guys forget to put that on there.
of course we got to go back with the original Cummins gasket original from Cummins themselves And we are back with the crankcase breather cover. It should be right there. Make sure it's engaged. Properly seated. Let's grab the bolts for it. nothing like filming at night so we are back ladies and gentlemen we got the big can of qd electric cleaner from a crc a trusted and known brand name in the american household for years and years and years or garage i don't know if you use the stuff in your house i probably would but different kind of an animal so just a quick hand spray there we want to make sure all the connectors are clean this stuff is fast drying by the way um yeah my hand feels very nasty but it's dry so make sure everything is nice and dry like you know all of that clean up. I think that you sucked. And uh, I guess we just take a little bit of this dielectric grease. We gotta do this quick because it's getting dark. It's done and over with. Make the connector slide on a lot easier, a lot less labor intensive. Um, again, just slide the grease right on. And I'm trying to get a little bit in here as well. All right, jump to the other side. So can get this thing finished. <clears throat> and we got these little tubies here that gotta get connected. We gonna grease up those nipples, some dielectric grease, make those things slide on and off a lot easier and here we go spread out a light coating of this grease a nice light coating of it all right get our hand clean with our uh, hand cleaner and reconnect that hose slats right on. Yep. And again, slats right in. Just carefully plug in the harness for the injectors. Slats right in. Now, now that you oiled it, slats right in. 
last thing is gonna be this guy. Click. All right, so we gotta grab the air cleaner assembly. And we're done. So at this point, I'm gonna wrap the video up. It's just gonna be me reinstalling the air cleaner. Thanks a lot for watching, like, share, and subscribe if it helped you out at all. And have a great day. Okay, well, I didn't want to end the video like that, so we at least got to start it up. It's running smooth. Purring like a kitten, I tell you. That's a cold start. She's ice cold. Has no air. A little fast idle action. She's warming up. That gas hand works when it wants to. Nothing to be alarmed about. <laughs>